Okay, today, guys, another video. A DMR amplifier for your HT. Two to five watts input, but I've tried it with one watt, no problem. 50 watt out, four to 470 megs. Yes, 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 yes. I like it a lot. I have tried it out already. She works great. It does about 50 watts output with about 5 watts in on DMR. I tried it on a couple of my local repeaters I was having trouble getting into with my, my HT. So, yes, I'm very happy with it. Very happy. There you guys want one of these things, drop me a message or an email or something and we'll get you hooked up. They're not really, really not that expensive. Maybe I'll put the link to this in my um, in my video so you guys know exactly where to, to get one. I got it, actually I got it on eBay. Just type in DMR amplifier and you'll um, you'll see it. Standard power on and off switch. It's got a PL259. It's got a fan that kicks on. It's a thermal controlled fan, so it doesn't. It will not kick on until the amp gets warm or hot. RF input is a SMA. Unfortunately, I wish it was a PL259, but maybe I'll hook this thing up right fast. Show you guys how it works. Hold on. Okay, guys, I had to concoct <laughs> up a cable because. Basically, RG174 goes into my 2017 and come out. I had to put a connector here because the end of the cable has a 259 on it. That uh, won't go into the SMA, so we had to, had to do that. But anyway, the amplifier's on. I'll show you. Let's get here to something like a simplex channel. Oh, I hate that tracker ball. I hate that tracker ball. Why would you do that? All right. We're on the NAT DMR simplex. I'm going to turn the amp off. I'm going to show you. Power meter. Cable coming into the power meter directly into the box, out of the box, into the meter, and out of the meter to the antenna. Now we are on a the 20 watt scale. I think, wait a minute, oh, 20 watt scale on low power. We are showing uh, less than a watt. Well, now I'm going to flip the amp on and potingo. We're going to go up to 200 watt scale and she's doing roughly 52 watts. KG4 VDC on that National DMR Simplex. About about 53 watts. You see that needle quivering? That's what DMR looks like on the meter. It quivers. Just like this transmit light. See it quivering super, super fast. And you can see my T wet, there's no KG4 VDZ testing that DMR simplex. About 50. 253 watts roughly and my SWRs on this antenna is I've noticed running a little high but it's not the amplifier because I can unhook the amp and it's the exact same thing so the um, the SWRs of the amp is um, perfect 
Okay, I've got the radio two by two bloop, straight into we're bypassing the box. We're gonna go straight into the meter. I'm gonna show you the power of the TYT on high power. So make sure we got it on high. Yes, high power. Okay, TYT on high power. Ah crap. We get to the 20 watt scale. TYT on high power is roughly a little over four watts, and my battery is almost dead. She's just about drained. I checked it today, and it was about five and a half watts, a little over five watts. So that's what the TYT does. And see, we you see our SWRs, they're exactly the same. So my antenna is running a little wave on that particular 440 frequency. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you the real little the little DMR 50 watt amp real quick I know you can look out there and you know there's not a whole lot of DMR amplifiers to be found you know sure you can get a you know 440 amp I've got a regular analog 440 amp but it won't this from what I read will do just about all the modes it'll be P25 DMR I think I'm pretty sure it'll do D Star. It it does. I know it'll do P25 and DMR for sure, because that's exactly what I read. And I was a little skeptical of it at first. I thought, eh, I don't know about that. But for, I think I paid a hundred, uh, maybe a hundred and five bucks, free shipping. It took me about two and a half weeks to get it. It came from China, so you guys know how, how you know stuff is when it gets shipped from China. It's it's a little hard to to get it. So yeah. So with that being said, I'm going to show you one more time. Amp on. Okay, well, into the TYT 2017. Out into the. Boom, boom. Okay, yep, let me go to 200 watt scale because it's going to slam the 20. Um, about 53, 52, 53 watts, guys. Yeah, I absolutely love it so far because now. I haven't got my MD9600 yet, so I'm still forced to use my TYT2017 to get into my local repeaters. And, you know, with 5 watts max, it can be, you know, you have to be in a, a real good location to do that. So, if you guys want one of these, let me know, and I will put the link in the description from the seller that I purchased it from so if you want to get one from him you know I know he's trustworthy and you know I know you'll get what you are and I think this is a 50 watt version there's actually an 80 watt version I know there's a 50 and an 80 and I think maybe the 80 is 135 136 it's less than 140 bucks I think don't quote me on that, but I think it's less than 140 bucks. It works great. So, yeah. So, I got to looking on eBay and found these. And I wrote the seller to make sure. I said, like, are you sure this does DMR? Because a regular amplifier will not do a DMR. You know, if it has relays in it, it will not do DMR. It has to be switching using diodes. Because it, it has to switch, you know, less than 10 milliseconds. So it's super, super fast. So he said, yes, it'll do DMR. That's what it was designed to do. So I said, all right, send me one. If it don't work, I'm going to send it back to you. <laughs> but he sent it. I got it in the mail today. I had to wait about three weeks to get it. Or about, about two and a half, three weeks. But I finally got it. And I could not be happier for a hundred bucks to get, and that was with free shipping. So I paid a hundred and five bucks and got the amp shipped to my door. So with that being said, 
you know, I was super happy. Now I can use my TYT with 5 watts and, you know, now I've got 50 out. And I can get into other DMR repeaters that I previously couldn't get into. So, this will work until I get my MD 9600 hopefully in a few weeks. And I think it does uh, maybe 45 or 50 watts output on UHF. And I'll, um, I don't know, I'll put the 9600 in the car and keep this amp in the house with my MD 2017 or something. I don't know. I'll just buy another 9600. Who knows? I'm all over the place. But anyway, that's it, guys. It's awesome. You can't really... It's got a bunch of... Wong Hung... <laughs> it's got a bunch of one Hung Chow kind of writing on it. So, yeah. Sweet. Alright. Seven threes, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Subscribe to my channel. And um, enjoy your evening. If you want one of these amps, let me know and I'll put a link to the eBay item in my uh, YouTube and you can go on there and get one. Have a great evening and seven threes, guys.